Is paying the extremely low price tag for the Soundstorm Labs 4 Series FR4001 worth the investment? Supposedly, it's a 3000 watt RMS amplifier for about $100. But what could go wrong? Soundstorm is like the marshals of the car audio world. Their gear looks good, gets the job done, and is cheap. But you ain't going to the club in clothes from Marshalls. You go to In-N-Out or a family barbecue for sure. Soundstorm claims that the FR4001 does 3000 watts RMS at one ohm, 1500 watts RMS at two ohms, and 750 RMS at four ohms. Do I actually believe that? Maybe if I'm like five margaritas deep and everybody at the bar is looking pretty good. But judging by the weight and the build quality of the amplifier, I'm gonna call BS and predict it doesn't even match its forum spec. The problem with non-CEA compliant amplifiers is their manufacturers embellish their numbers. When you meet a cute girl, you're gonna tell her that you drive a Charger or that 94 Civic in your mom's driveway. Soundstorm is a business and they're in the business of selling cheap amplifiers to ballers on budgets. Don't hate the play, hate the game, man. The Force FR4001 is a versatile amp that can handle stable operation in 1 ohm, 2 ohm, and 4 ohm loads. Plus, the amplifier can be strapped with another one for 6,000 watts RMS bridged at 2 ohms. Bridge them with the master and slave switch and the included data link cable. Let's test this thing out and see if it actually has the force. Obi-Wan's rolling in his grave. At 4 ohms, 14.4 volts, we hit about 460 watts RMS, which you know would be a good reading if it wasn't rated at 750 watts RMS at 4 ohms. We got 42 amps of current and 600 watts power consumption. Unfortunately, we don't have the power supply, batteries, and load resistors to test at 2 ohms or 1 ohm. But judging by the 4 ohm results, we can assume we would have gotten similar readings at lower loads. Soundstorm puts you in total control of the force. Switchable input sensitivity lets you connect the amp to any standard source unit and properly match the output of that source. The subsonic filter is designed for use on ported enclosures for optimum bass without damaging your woofers. Nickel plated RCA low level inputs make for an easy connection to a head unit and the RCA outputs are able to chain multiple amplifiers together. Low pass filter gives you control over the frequencies that pass through the subwoofer because you really only want them to play the lows. The included remote bass control plugs into the remote subwoofer control ports to adjust levels up front. Increase bass boost up to 18 dB. And phase shift selector allows you to adjust the speaker's phase to ensure all audio signals are playing together rather than against each other. Along with speaker, power, and ground terminal, the amp features the data link port and master slave control. Three 30 amp fuses help prevent damage. They even give you three spears because, you know, just in case. The Force features a black anodized heat sink, which means it is coated with protective oxide layer, thermal overload and speaker short protection, and LED power and protection indicators. We recommend using a minimum 4 gauge and preferably 1 odd gauge power and ground wiring. Check out all of our amplifier installation kits, link in the bio. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links are in the bio. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click the like button, but if you hate it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.